Students who hope to go to get a back to school tan couldn't rely on tanning salons this summer because a new law prohibited anyone under 18 from using indoor tanning beds. But as Julia LeBlanc explains, salon owners aren't feeling the impact. Five months ago, Sherry Alberti opened her own tanning salon. It's been a dream of hers for a while. Bye, thank you. Alberti doesn't see the new tanning law impacting business, mainly because of the age of her customers. I think my youngest is actually only 24, but other than that, mine isn't an older clientele. Alberti says teens sometimes stop by, but only for spray tans. Her other customers, though, using the beds for relief. I will have people coming here and start tanning. As a matter of fact, like their doctors will prescribe them to come in here and get some UV because of the depression, anxiety. When they leave here, they feel so good. Some with medical conditions swear by it. The heat from the tanning bed is kind of a therapeutic for people with various health problems like autoimmune. And while it may feel relaxing, health professionals say it could be damaging. Our skin does release hormones that make us feel better um, when it's been radiated with the sun um, or with the ultraviolet light. So it can be addictive, but that doesn't make it any better for us. Um, it's still that ultraviolet light that's changing those cells into potentially something cancerous. Concerns the new law aims to address, but with a strong clientele, Alberti remains hopeful. Just for me being here five months, I don't feel that I'm losing any business whatsoever. So, and now it's just starting to get busier now. And with the store expansion on the way, she doesn't see that changing. In Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.